That's right. I just got the wrong recipe. Uh, anyway, today in Somerset there was a contest to see how many people uh, can wolf down of these in 10 minutes. Should we give it a go? Yeah, I wouldn't mind giving it a go. No, better not because I had one earlier on. Uh, Robert Murphy, though, uh, we found was the most competitive eater in our newsroom, so we sent him along and he ended up entering the competition himself. How did he get on? <laughs> This was the size of my opposition. Big. The competition, how many pies from the pile could we stuff in our mouths in ten minutes? But I was nervous. I'd had a good breakfast and, well, I don't really like mince pies. So, I hit upon a plan. Act brave and cheat. Last year's competition was serious stuff. The winner was a seven stone American nicknamed the Black Widow. A professional gurgitator, as they're known, she did 46 pies in 10 minutes. Crumbs. Today was a British-only affair. It's pie time, go! I weighed up my opponents. They ranged from pirates using power tools to pensioners. And as they were otherwise occupied, get it? I saw my opportunity. Firstly, pocketing the pastries. Then, employing the services of Rod, my cameraman. But someone was on to me. So how about a bit of TV trickery? Again, no luck. So reluctantly, I did. But I'd been rumbled. In the meantime, plates were emptying legally. Who was winning? House husband Clive Pearson had been vacuuming up the pies. But what was your technique? Get loads of the plate, get remote near the plate and just one shove it. <laughs> and how does the stomach feel? Oh, it's even though, isn't it? I was close to the, right at the end, I was very close to throwing up. Today, eating 26 pies. Wookie Hall's owner, Jerry Cottle, presented the prize to Clive, who was victorious. It's Clive Pearson. You are disqualified! I'm on the actual diet. It doesn't, it doesn't. They didn't listen to my protests. I was found out. And as Clive continued munching, I made my getaway before I was searched. Robert Murphy for the West tonight. Oh, those last two. Now we know where those have been. I know. In Rob's pockets. Oh no. Well, Too late. Time now for the West.